doing beans on toast. Uh, these guys don't think it's very um, interesting <laughs> today, but I've chefified it for you. So we're going to make our own bean mix. So we've got this beautiful smoked ham hock. So it's going to be meaty, smoky, rich, dark beans. And then we're going to make our own bread as well. We're making Irish soda bread. So the wife's going to be happy with this one. It's really simple to do. And I'm going to show you how to do it a little bit later. And it'll be the best beans on toast you've ever tasted. And it smells incredible. Why? Because we have got the bacon hot cooking. What are you making for us today? Well, that's it. So we're going to make uh, bacon beans on toast but we are chefifying it and the beans we're going to make ourselves got these um so these are actually cooked but you can do these from raw if you want if okay. you want to get extra flavor right but these are all they're just out of the can but we are going to make this beautiful rich tomato treacly sweet smoky um oh. sauce to go around the beans oh, and then talking. we've got ham hocks as well oh. so that's how we're going to get the smoky meatiness into it yep so i've just got a ham hock here so it's a smoked one you can get these very, relatively cheap in the supermarket Pop it into a pot, uh, some onions, carrots, water, bring it to the boil, simmer it for an hour or two yep. uh, until it's really tender. The meat will just fall off the bone. That's mm. the stage what you want to uh, get it to. And all the stock, we're going to add to the beans as well because that's all flavour. You know, Brilliant. and keep this stock and you can make soups out of it. You can, you know, it, it, it's a flavour maker. Oh, there we go. A flavour maker. A flavour maker. You're a flavour maker, mate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got, are we going to make our own bread? And too, we're going to make we? our own bread as well. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, did you honestly think we were just going to get a, a loaf of bread from the supermarket and just toast it? Well, when you said baked beans on toast, I thought that's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> the can of beans. No, we're going to make our own bread as well. So we're going to make soda bread oh great um, so it's a really fast bread it's really good wholesome tasty um quick uh, no no yeast in there so you're using uh, baking soda to get the rise on it so it's right. quite a dense but it's great with the um uh, beans on toast you know because you've got the beautiful sort of rich beans uh, and juice and it's all going to soak into the bread it's going to be great it's going to oh, be a really great. hearty uh, brunch okay. i didn't even do this as a brunch right so we're going to um so we've got the ham hock there yeah, ham hocks going so we're going to start our base for the um uh, beans right so i've got some onions there so I'll pop those in now. So we'll put a bit of rice bran oil in there. Yeah, so just sweat them uh, sweat them down. Yeah. So you can add a little bit of pepper at this stage okay. just to start getting some uh, seasoning into that. I'm not going to put any salt in because we've got the ham hocks and they've been cured and smoked. So that is going to be sort of, we are going to get our salt from that. So always taste it before you add the salt. Oh, my eyes are watering, those onions. <laughs> right, Fresh. and then we've got, got a bit of garlic as well. So just going to chop that up and then we'll start sweating that down as well. Yum, yum. So get that in there. Hey, uh, sorry, your rugby team aren't doing too well, mate. That's <laughs> oh, just one game, there's two more. Two more yeah, matches. Right. <laughs> you wait till tomorrow, we've got Buck Shelford coming in tomorrow. Yeah. Buck Shelford and Ian Chow. Yeah, yeah, great. I'll get some I'm going to tell them you're a lion supporter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't speak too soon, should I? Yeah, okay. you shouldn't speak too soon. Right, what have we got going on now? So we've right, got so the onions, I'm going to sweat them down. And now we need to get some tomato into that. So we've got some uh, crushed tomatoes. Okay, so this is like so, our own sauce for our yeah, baked yeah. beans. So just, yeah. a, just a tin of those. And then we've got some tomato paste as well. Okay. Some puree. Bit a little extra. bit in that. Yeah, that'll give us a nice deep flavour. A uh, little bit of sugar as well. Uh huh. So we'll just sort of sprinkle that in. Brown sugar there. And then we've got some red wine vinegar as well. So we've got that sugar and all that vinegar, and so it's going to counterbalance each other. Okay. And then we've got this. What is that? Treacle. Mm. Right, so this is sort of like a really dark sort of more sort of bittersweet um, sugar. So that goes in there and that's going to give us a nice glossiness to the beans after, but it gives us that really deep sort of um, beautiful flavour. Yeah. So, and then all we do, bring that up to the boil and then I'm going to put a little bit of this um, stock in there as well. Okay, so we're using every component yes. we've got, which is great. So this is how you get all the flavour into there. So it's quite liquidy at the moment. Ooh, so bring it to the boil, turn it down, and the longer you can take to reduce that and the slower, the more flavour you're going to get. So like an hour would be awesome. So simmering away here, reducing down. Our bacon hock's been cooking away. Things are smelling incredible. But we've got bread to make now. Yep, so we're going to make the bread, so soda bread. So I've got some buttermilk in here. Yep. So I'm going to crack an egg in, whisk that up. And then I've got some whole milk flour in there. And then you can add some uh, plain flour into there and some oats. So okay, you can pop cool. that in there. Okay, all of this. Yep. yep. So wet ingredients in here, dry yep. ingredients in there. Okay, plain flour. Yeah, you can pop it all in and start mixing. Some oats. We've got some baking soda, so that's going to help with the rise. Yep. We've got some salt and a little pinch of sugar as well. So all that goes in. Salt. Sugar. Okay. Beautiful. And then wet ingredients in. 
give it a really good mix, mm -hmm. get, it, get it to come together, and then I've got a little bit of flour here, and then you can give it a quick knead to make it nice and smooth, and then we'll pop it on our baking uh, tray. Oh, that's nice and quick. And then that's gonna go about 190 degrees for about sort of 50 minutes to an hour, so it's nice and crusty, uh, and then cooked in the center. Okay, nice. That's it. So once it comes together like that, you can tip it out onto the surface mm -hmm. and then you can get your hands in and start sort of kneading start it. Start kneading you know, it. If it's a little bit wet, you can add a little bit more flour and then vice versa. If it needs a little bit more liquid, you know, just a little bit more buttermilk. You reckon that's all right? Mixed yeah, I reckon enough. that's good. Yeah, yeah. Get your hands in there. Okay. And then this is what you're left with. Look at that. Oh, that's incredible. So here's what I made earlier. And if you smell it, you know, you can smell oh, all those sort of toasted goodness. oats. Yeah. And all that uh, goodness. And we'll just do a little cross on the top. So as it sort of rises, it comes apart slightly. And then all we do is going to take some nice slices. So it's quite a dense bread because you haven't got the yeast in there. But it's perfect for this recipe, you know. Anything with like lots of um, sauce and flavour, you know, it's just going to soak it all up. Look at that. Beautiful. Got the oats in there, you know, you can add, and you can keep adding flavours to this as well if you want. You can put some rosemary in there. Oh, you know, different things, Look different at the grains. Color of it. I'm just gonna... Is it flour? Yep. Yeah, cool. Just so I don't need that sticking to the bench. Well, and then I've just got a griddle pan here, just a little splash of oil, and then I'm gonna start toasting it. Okay, so we'll and everything else. Is yeah, and away. then and then our, our sauce is just reducing down there. Once it starts getting nice and thick, you can pop the beans in for about five minutes just to warm up and just go through so they're all nice and coated. And then the ham hock as well. Shred that down, pop that in as well. And then that's your bean mix ready. Bread will be toasted, a little bit of butter over the bread. Job's uh, job done. Job done. Okay, this so is simple. incredible. And you know, how's this texture looking? Is it a bit weird yeah, or is so it... So you can knead it, so when you knead it... What's the best way to knead it? So bring it up with your fingers and then push it away with the palm of your hands. Okay, cool. So you keep doing that. Good. And then you get it nice and smooth. <laughs> Let the pro do it. <laughs> yeah. Nice work. And then do it around, pop it down a bit into sort of a you know, rough circle, give it a nice cross. Pop, Brilliant. Pop it on your tray, bang it in the oven. Done. There you go. If you need the recipe, then go to thecafe.co.nz. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to taste, actually, because this is going <laughs> to be delicious. And tasting time. It smells incredible. Mark, how's it come along? Oh, it is ready. Look at that. And you can serve it with your bread. Look mm. at that. Yum. Yum. Awesome. <laughs>